What is up? Welcome to 8% Club every Friday, 2 o'clock Central Standard Time. We come to you to get you excited about something, to maybe make you better right now than you were a few minutes ago. And so what we can talk about today, we'll talk about something different. Every Friday we go live, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, the works. And today we're going to talk about my favorite books because I'm someone that believes that if you're not constantly learning, you will get past. Because you may be in the lead, you may, you may be the best person in your office, but if you do or if you are not constantly learning, you will get passed up by someone. It may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, but you will get passed up eventually. So I'm going to walk through several different books because I'm big on personal development. I'm big on self-improvement. That's the biggest reason we're throwing this conference is because it's going to make me a better person. Personally, professionally, doesn't matter. As an individual, as a business, I'm going to improve simply by being involved in this. With all the power players, all the connectors, all the people I'm getting to know, all the people we're reaching, all the people that we're, that, that, that we're collaborating with and networking with. That's why stuff like this is so, 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 so valuable as an insurance agent, as a business person, as an individual, as a human being in general. So I, I'm going I'm to surprise you guys that, and say that the number one book that I got the most out of professionally, the most out of professionally, there's other books that I've got more out of personally, okay? But my first book that I got the most out of professionally, and the reason there's a little backstory with this one, that, that is... The Art of Closing the Cell by Brian Tracy. This book I started picking up when I was 19, 20 years old. Audiobook version. I would throw it in my car. I wasn't great when I first started at getting people to make decisions. Everybody was thinking about it. I started listening to this book and I started listening to the audiobook. Every time I went to a basketball game, every time I went to an appointment, didn't matter. I threw this book in. I listened to this book. And I'm telling you what, this book made me a master closer. There were people in my office that had been in the business 30 years. They couldn't get people to make decisions. They couldn't close business. They would call on me at 19, 20, 21 years old because I could get people to make decisions, either yes or no. But I got great at getting people to make decisions. I talk, I talk about it all the time about it. everyone is great at something. What are you great at as a person? I'm great at getting people to make decisions. The art of closing the sale is a big reason why I got so good at getting people to make decisions. Brian Tracy is the author of that book. I listened to that book. I think there's like six chapters, if I believe. I think I had five or six little CDs. I think I, I, think I had it online and then downloaded it onto CD-ROMs back then. That's I can't say it's showing my age because I'm only 28, but you know what? That's kind of that, that was that was the era I grew up in. So the art of closing the sale, Brian Chase. That's my that's that's the book that I've got the most out of. Now it's monotone a little bit. Brian Tracy isn't naturally the most amazing speaker in general. He's not the most excited person, period. But what he is is he knows how to get people to make decisions. He knows from a value perspective how to help you become a better closer, how that you can become really good at getting people to make decisions on the very first appointment because he doesn't believe in callbacks. That's one of the biggest reasons why I don't believe in callbacks anymore is because of this book. I believe in getting people to make a decision immediately, right then, right now. But I need a favor from you. I'm going to give you several books that I love and I'm big on self-improvement, personal development. If you're not scaling up, you are getting past. If you're not moving forward, you're going in reverse. I'm telling you what, there's no neutral as a personal, as a, as a business, as a personal brand, as a human being, as individual, as a business owner. There's no neutral. You're either skilling up or you're skilling down. Which, which are you? But I need you guys to do me a favor today. I need you to, I need you to comment on this video below and let me know let me know what's your favorite book. What's the book? And it may not be the funnest book to read. It may not be the most elaborate book. It may not be the most popular book. But what book have you got the most out of personally and professionally? Jared, B, Orlando, all these people that are jumping in watching. Comment and let me know what is your what, what book have you got the most out of professionally and personally. 
because I'm going to be sharing these with me, with you guys today, probably three, four, five of them. This is the one that's all about closing. It's all about getting people to make decisions. Something I'm going to be talking a little bit about at the conference. And so if you're like, dude, I want to get better at being a master closer, Paul. Getting people to make decisions. Getting people to take action. And getting people to do something right now. Then you're, one, you're going to want to be at this event. 8% Nation Insurance Wealth Conference, Nissan Stadium, Grant Cardone, Ray Lewis, freaking my Coach Michael Burt, Tim Story, Sean Tay, the Olympian. I'm telling you what, the speaker roster is ridiculous. It's insane. I believe in helping people. I believe in personal development. I believe in self-improvement. I believe that if you're not going forward, guess what? You're going backwards. Callbacks and follow-up are so valuable. Just ask Uncle G. Orlando, what's your favorite book, brother? Paul, E-Myth Mastery by Michael Gerber. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Share your favorite books because I'm telling you what, one thing I'm learning is that I can learn so much from other people in general. Professionally, personally, doesn't matter. I can learn from everyone I meet. I've got to collaborate and start to network with literally dozens and dozens of guys, power players in this industry. The, there's more millionaires in this industry than any other industry in the world. More wealthy people created because of the insurance business than any other industry in the world. And I've got a chance to meet and collaborate and network and get to know and do live interviews and pick people's brain of, the, of a couple dozen of some of the top dudes and they're going to be at this event to help you. The second book would probably have to be, and I think, I think it may surprise, maybe it won't surprise people. He's got so many good books. I mean, because Grant Cardone has Seller Be Sold. He's got the 10X Rule. He's got Closer Survival Guide. He's got Be, be Obsessed or Be Average. He's got so many books and he keeps adding them. Bangum, what's up, brother? He says, uh, The Feldman Method by Ben Feldman. Awesome, man. That's, that's, that's really good. Melanie says, I'm currently reading The Energy Bus by John Gordon. Get on the energy bus. And this is what this event is all about because this event will not be a struggle bus. This event will get you off the struggle bus and make you a winner. Tickets are flying by. We've had 10 go since we jumped on live. Thank you, Matt. All right, so the second one for me just because I'm, I'm an action guy, I'm an activity guy, I'm a passion guy, I'm an energy guy. I would say that the 10X rule, just in general, by Mr. Grant Cardone, who's going to be speaking at this event, who's going to be speaking at 8% Nation Insurance Wealth Conference, it, the, the, what, what was so amazing about that book is it got me thinking bigger, Spompanato. It got me thinking outside the box. Coach Bird always says, hey, it's harder to think if you're inside of the frame. It's hard to see your business inside of the frame. That book got me to start stepping outside of the frame and thinking about my business and thinking bigger. I would have never done stuff like this and through massive wealth conferences at Nissan freaking stadium in a couple of weeks if it wasn't for books like this. If it wasn't for people like Vince challenging me to think bigger, if it wasn't for people like Charlie China stepping outside the box and getting me to think like a business professional, getting me to think about personal development, self-improvement, I'm telling you what, man, it's, it's what it's all about. The art of not giving a rat's and Business Seller Be Sold by Grant Cardone. Bailey's with, Bailey's with us on YouTube, Seller Be Sold for him as well. You've got to be listening to books. You've got to be thinking about continuing to get better. I'm messing with my mic. You've got to continue to think big and do more because this book is all about, hey, if your goal is 100K, Then do me a favor. Then, 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 then what you should do in this example, this book's all about this. If your goal is 100K, then write down a million, and then do the action of a million. If you do enough activity of a million dollars, you'll hit 100K easily, easily, because you're doing 10 times the activity, 10 times the effort, and you're thinking 10 times bigger. Now, would it have been easy to get 100 agents, a couple hundred agents to this event? Yes. But is it hard? When you start talking about 1,000 people, 
2,000 people, is it, is it get a little more difficult to get people to travel and spend money to come to a wealth conference? Absolutely. Absolutely. But the, per, personally, it's my favorite books. Professionally, one of my favorite books. Personally, one of my favorite books. This one almost applies to both, though. This one almost applies to both in general because there are so many good ones about literally, what are some of your guys? Bailey with Seller Be Sold, Matt, Dylan. You got any books that you want to mention that we want to jump on and throw up here? School of Greatness. Okay, I like that. I like that. This, this was Matt's. We'll put Matt's on here. Yep. How, how are we looking? We got a, little, got a little glare. Is that better? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. You may move it all anymore? Good. Matt's was school, The School of Greatness by Lewis Howes. I got a chance to, I got a chance to see Lewis Howes speak. At GrowthCon in Vegas. And I'm telling you what, that dude's good. That dude thinks differently. That dude's a marketer, really. That, what, that's what that dude is. He was, he was, a, he was like, he, he, that dude's a marketer. That's exactly what he is. Is he still seeing all right? What other books? What other books do you guys love? What other books do you think about? I mean, because there's so many good ones. I mean, Think and Grow Rich is really popular. It's just too long for me. How I raise, come on, man. That was one of the ones I was about to go to, Josh. I love that. Great book on YouTube said by Josh. How I raise myself from failure. So, so how I raise, I'm going to, I'll have to shorten this. How I raised, how I raise myself from failure, failure to success. That's what we'll put. Failure to success. It's a long title, How I Raised Myself from Failure to Success in Selling. It's a long title, but it's by, for those that have not read that book, by Frank Bedker. You got to read it. Like, it directly applies to the insurance business. Yep, yep. It directly applies to the insurance business in general. If you haven't read that book and you're in the insurance business, I'm telling you what, you need to read that book. You got to read that book. How I raise myself from failure to success in selling. Okay, so art of closing the sale. For me, it was all about, hey, it's all about, it's all about learning how to close. It's, the, it's all about learning how to get people to make a decision now. Like, follow-up's important, very important. But if I'm in front of someone, there's no reason to follow up with them when I can close them right now. Follow-up is used to get in front of people. When you're in front of them, I don't do callbacks and I close. The art of closing the seller, Brian Tracy. 10X rule. Get you thinking bigger. Get you taking more action. Get you doing more. Get you stepping outside the box. Get you stepping outside the frame and looking in. And then the school, and, and then uh, how I raise myself from failure to success in selling. Super, super good insurance-related book. How I raise myself from failure to success in selling. If you have not seen that, if you haven't read that book, you really, really, I'm moving this around to, keep, to, to help with the glare. How I Raised Myself from Failure to Success in Selling by Frank Bedker is, it's not a, it's not a crazy long book. Like, Think and Grow Rich is a huge book. How I Raised Myself from Failure to Success in Selling is like a, it's like a, a week read. If you read like 30, 45 minutes, an hour a day, it's like a, a week read. It's not terribly long. It's really good. It's it's just a, it's, it, and it and it directly pertains to the insurance business. We had a lot of good comments. So who else we got from from a, from a book perspective? Who else we got from a book perspective? Anything else in general? What else do we got from a from a book perspective? How are we doing, our, our Dylan? Is that, is that better? Cool. I keep moving. You eventually if you keep moving stuff. If you if you're high activity, you'll eventually get it right. That's the moral of the story for this show. Art of closing the sale, 10x rule, how I raise myself from failure to success in selling. Matt's was the school of greatness. What, what is it for you guys? I want to know what's your favorite book. Also, do you believe in personal development? Crush It by Gary V. I like that. Crush It's Good. Crushing It's Good. Dave? First word, uh, everybody needs a coach. Yeah. I like that. I like that. 
Yeah, there we go. A couple, cu cu these, are, these are a couple of Daves here. He's jumping in on the show. Okay, so every, every, everybody needs a coach in life. That's a Coach Burt book. He will be at, guess what, this conference, this event. Everybody needs a coach in life. Everybody needs a coach in life. You with me there? Do you agree with me? Do you follow me? Okay. But also, Dave's also was uh, how to win friends and influence people. I don't know if they can keep seeing this when I go further down, but how to win friends and influence people. Pretty popular book. Pretty good book. That's the thing, like there's no one book for anybody. Everyone's gonna get different, a different take out of different books and different styles. Like that's kind of what I'm learning is that there's no one book for just any one person. That's why everybody needs a coach in life. Really good book. Coach Burt is the dude is right here. If 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 Dylan will show him, literally he's on the end, man. He's gonna be at this event. He's got like he's got several books. He's all about reading books. GC's all about reading books. Everybody needs a coach in life. Coach Bert, you have to check out his book because apparently it's really apparently it's really good. I haven't got a chance to read or listen to it. I need to. That's my next read. Perfect. Dave just walked in and said, Hey dude, this book is freaking good. You need to listen to it. You need to read it because the dude's gonna be at your freaking conference. Well, you know what, Dave? You're right. How do win friends and influence people? Super, super, super popular book. Good book. It's, it's important. It's social. Dude, the tickets are flying, baby. We have a board. We track all of our tickets like nonstop in the studio. Uh, Ignite Your Life by Brian Tracy. Ooh, I like that. Ignite Your Life by Brian Tracy. Any, any Brian Tracy books, I'm going to go put that one over here because I don't know that I've read that one, and I love Brian Tracy books. I don't listen to Brian Tracy books. I don't listen or read Brian Tracy books to get motivation per se. There's certain people I get motivation from, and there's certain people like a Ray Lewis, motivation. But then there's certain people where I will get content from. Brian Tracy is a content-driven dude, Kirk, and you're totally, totally right. Brian Tracy is a content-driven dude dude completely content driven and i'm a big fan of uh i'm a big fan of all of all of, of, of anything that he does because i know that the content is going to be fire as i'm throwing throwing stress balls around the uh studio just because of the, that i know the content's going to be fire 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 what's some other books you guys like i'm gonna check on youtube too Crush It by Gary V. Also, Crushing It. I, I, I listened to Crush It. Good book. Really good book. Now, a lot of, some of it's a little outdated now, but that's a good book, right? It's a, it's a good book. Crushing It is a little newer, a little more modern, but I'm telling you what, it's a great book, but here, I mean, there, there's stuff in Crush It that people don't even use anymore just because of the way this business is. Crushing It will probably end up being the same way in a few years, but that, that's the thing. That's the big thing with marketing. Marketing is all about trends. Marketing is all about having stress-free leads, not being stressed out. Marketing in general, which is like Gary V is someone that he caught trends because he paid attention, he studied, he researched, and he caught trends at the right time. And so if you're a, it's, it's really good to be a trend catcher from a digital standpoint and a, and a social media publication, promotion standpoint, Secure Agent Mentor had good timing. It could have been a little better timing, but the timing for us was good, and it's helped our brand in general because of the timing, because of the timing in which we jumped into the market. I'm going to have these cups at the conference. I'm, I, I want to give you one. looks like one's taller than the other, though, but either way. Which one do you all like, though? The red? Or the black? I think I like the black better. I think it's cleaner. We're adding some more tickets. Keep them going, Matt, Bailey, Dylan. Come on, man. 
We finished the day yesterday at 57 tickets and seats for this event. Yesterday alone, 57. What's some other books? What's some? I mean, give me, give me some, give me some secrets of yours. Because one of mine is, is you know, hey, uh, the guys are ducking in the back of the studio. One of mine is is is, is getting up every morning, and writing down my goals. Um, I'm a big believer in hey, get up, write down your goals, think outside the box, do some. I mean, when I write down my goals, it gets me thinking bigger. I mean, because okay, guys, r right or wrong. Do I not have some type of goal for like every day or every week? Right. Yeah, which is exactly why we do it because it's, it keeps us more focused, which is why we've done a lot more this month than we did in the month before that, the month before that, month before that. Apparently, apparently you need to go check out Instagram. Apparently we got some funny stuff going on. All right, so. If there's a comment, it's right here. Okay, if it's good. If it's good or, or if it's bad. I don't know what it's talking about, but it says, Devon423 says, ideas are a dime a dozen, but the person who puts them in practice frickin' buys them golf balls. DeVault, man. I, I like the DeVaults. I, the, uh, we got uh, Del DeVault, Joe DeVault, all the DeVaults down in, uh, down, in the, down in the boot hill of Missouri. Dude, ideas are, ideas are important. He's leaving a comment about ideas and how ideas are good, you know, being on the forefront of ideas, how important. Igniting your life with ideas are important. What's some other books? What's some other books for you guys that are like, dude, man, I'm, uh, how about all this swag? How about this setup today? How about this? Is that, is that good? Is that good today or is it good? This, uh, you guys are going to get a chance to, to own all this pretty soon. Because I don't want to keep it all. I can't, I, we, I can't, I, we got boxes everywhere because of this event now. I've got to finish a water bottle before at the end of every show or we don't even, we can't stop the show, right? Like, the show must go on until I drink all my water. All right, any other questions? I'm almost done with my water. So any other, any other questions about uh, anything, anything relating to your favorite books, things that you love to read? Maybe, maybe get into this little deal right here, being at this thing, right? Maybe you want to be there. Maybe you want to be with us. Maybe you want to, maybe you're... Maybe you want to improve. Maybe you want to be better. Maybe you want to scale up your business. Maybe you want to learn tangible nuggets. And maybe you want to impact and help a lot of people. You want to help a lot of people. Normally when you help a lot of people, you get a lot of attention. You end up doing what? You end up making a lot of money. All right, any other questions? We've got about 25 minutes already. My gosh, these shows just fly by. Uh, I'm telling you what, I'm all about getting people to this event. Do me a favor, if you don't have it, if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, and you want to go and you don't have a ticket, send me a private message. I've had a few tickets that I couldn't refund, but that they cannot go now. So private message me and I'll give you their seat that somebody else already paid for. But you got to private message me to be able to make that happen on Facebook. I don't care if you're on YouTube, go to Facebook. 8020 Sales and Marketing by Peggy Marshall. Ooh, that's good. 8020 Sales and Marketing by Peggy Marshall. I'm going to go back to these comments and start picking up some new books that I haven't read. If you haven't got a seat to this, October 26th and 27th, it's in 13 days, 9 hours, 33 minutes, and 13 seconds from now. If you haven't got a seat to this, I've got some individuals that said, hey, dude, I'm so sorry. Something's come up. We've had a family illness, you know, um, whatever the case may be. And they said, hey, uh, I, need, I, can't, I can't go. I, we're not doing refunds anymore. It's too late. We've already paid the stadium, all their stuff. So they said, hey, I can't go. Just give it to somebody else. If you can get money for it, great. If not, just give it to somebody and help somebody. So if you're like, hey, I don't have a ticket, but I would like one, send me a private message. Put your hand up. Send me a private message. Say, hey, uh, I'll, I, you know, if you have an extra seat that, I, that, 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 nobody's, that, that somebody already paid for that can't come, then, then I'll gift it to you. So uh, any, other, any, any, I mean, any, other, any other feedback on specific books? Any of their feedback on self-improvement, personal development? I love hearing people's stories about things that you do in your life, specific things, special things, goals, getting up and working out. Like my wife, ridiculous. She gets up at 4.15 every morning and goes and works out every day. She's headed several hours from home for the weekend to go spend some time with family. 
and and friends, and she still got up at 4.15 and worked out this morning. Super impressive. Surround yourself with people like her that love people, care about people, are disciplined, that are organized, that get you, that, that get you to be a better individual. And guess what? It'll help you long term. It'll help you in your life, personally, professionally. It'll get you thinking bigger. It'll get you, get you more focused. I love Napoleon Hill. What's up, Jubilee? Appreciate the comment on YouTube, man. But books, books, learning. What's amazing about today's day and age is there's been so many successful people come before us that we can learn from. Like the, the old saying, hey, success leaves clues. I'm kind of a believer in that. I kind of thought it was cheesy years ago. Nah, come on. You just got to work hard. There's a lot more to it than just working hard, which is why events like this are so popular and why you need to be at stuff like this because success leaves clues. These guys are going to leave all kinds of clues at this conference, and you need to be there to experience it firsthand. I need, I need to be able to freaking shake their hands. So if you haven't got your ticket, message me. We got a couple that said, a couple of tickets that said, hey, I can't come, I can't attend, but I've already paid for them, just give them to somebody. If that's you and you want them, private message me on Facebook. All right. Any other questions before we get this thing, before we shut this thing down? I'm going to be in here working all weekend. If you need me, let me know. If you haven't got your ticket yet, please get it because VIP and Premier are sold out. Executive, um, we have probably, we have probably 54 executive left and general. Um, I don't know, general, we're getting close to our max on Eventbrite. We keep having to negotiate with the stadium and, and up our Eventbrite quantities and, and our capacity so that we can accommodate more people because we've added over 300 last week and we'll add over another 300 this week. It's been nuts. It's been awesome. So, hey, thanks for watching. 8% Club, get to this thing. Get to being a better you today. And if these books can help you, by all means, listen. It's all about improving, self-improvement. It's all about getting better. It's all about realizing, hey, you're a personal brand. And what you feed here, what you feed here, what you feed here will end up here. See you at April's Nation Wealth Conference. Thanks for watching.